In southern Sudan, the rains are coming to an end. These grasslands will soon wilt and die, and a fateful tourist season is about to begin. White-eared cob, a type of antelope, have spent the wet season here giving birth to their young. But now they must travel to fresh pastures or risk dying of starvation. As they head north, they're between two converging rivers, still full of water. These funnel the cob closer and closer together until they form an immense herd. Not far from the Ethiopian border, the two bloated rivers meet. But it's not just animals that are making their annual move. These are the Merle, a native Sudanese people. For many years, they've gathered here in large numbers. For if the cob travel to where the rivers join, then they're forced to cross. Wading out into the water, the Merle lie in wait for them. It's not certain the cob will follow this exact route, but experience tells the hunters that they might, and they pray for a good harvest. This year, their prayers are answered, and the cob run a gauntlet of spears. The exodus continues for several weeks. A million cob make this crossing every year. It seems murderous, but the mole kill only a tiny proportion of the total herd, 5,000 animals in all. The vast majority make it to safety. The mole dry the meat they can't eat straight away, and so their river ambush provides them with food for many months. Meanwhile, the surviving cob continue their 1,500 kilometer journey northwards and eventually reach rich new grasslands. Here they eat their fill and the young grow strong as they wait for the rains that will draw them southwards once again. So this river crossing, which provides access to new grasslands for the cob, also helps the mole through the lean, dry season. This serene British river is about to have its peace shattered. Find out why after the break.